All right, guys, in this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple map animation. Now, I have some assets over here. Um, I have got the Russia PNG uh, image and the Ukraine a Ukraine flag, a Russia flag, and the world map. Now, I got all these assets from vemaps.com. So you can go ahead and download map of any country that you want. The cool thing is they give you different file formats such as AI, SVG, PNG, and all that. Uh, they have also um, states uh, and provinces maps as well. So if you want to have a more detailed animation about a specific country, uh, you can just download that map and use that for your animation but yeah go ahead and download your favorite map which uh, looks interesting to you and just import all these assets inside of davinci resolve i'm going to go ahead and drag in our fusion composition onto the timeline let's go to the fusion page and we have our media out over here so the first thing we'll do is drag in our world map just drag that in i'm going to View this is going to look something like that let's just rename this to world map and click on ok and now as you can see that uh, the size of this map is quite big it's 3000 by 2250 let's just uh, go ahead and select this world map node and we're going to add in a background node to this this will result in merge one let's view this and you can see that the background was in front i'm going to right click on the merge one and click on swap inputs and the merge one i'm going to set the size to 0.5 so that it we can see the entire map inside this scene now you can also go ahead and set the operator to mask so that we can use the background node and we can use it to change the color of our map once we do that you can see we have lost the boundaries line so if i just set this back to over you can see that our map has these lines which show the boundaries of a country so in order to preserve these lines we can do is let's just set this back to mask for now uh, we can just copy all of this over here and paste it down below like that and then we are going to take a look at this merge one over here and it's the same thing uh, but what we can do is after the world map over here we will add in a luma here and let's take a look at this luma here you can see that it reduces uh, or removes the gray color so we can just go to this contract expand slider and just drag it to the left so that we remove the gray color completely and then you can increase the gamma slider to the right so that we have uh, bolder lines over here all right so uh, let's connect these up together like so this will result in merge 2 and let's take a look at this merge 2 i'm going to right click on merge 2 and click on swap inputs so that the lines are in front so I'm going to go back to my background node over here and change the color and I can just pick any line for the color over here. So uh, if you don't see the lines, you just make sure you hit Control T on Merge 2 uh, because if you don't, then the lines will be behind the map. So just make sure you hit Control T and now you'll be able to see your lines. So you can change it to any color that you want. Do the same thing with the world map as well. So I'm going to actually change the color of world map and... Uh, set this to black for now and for the background color i'm going to set this to white now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to import in the uh, russia country png image let's take a look at it this is how it's going to look i'm going to uh, rename this node so right click rename um, so once you rename it then you can do the same thing add in a background node uh, we will resize it so let's view this merge three right click click on swap inputs and for now we'll just reduce the size and set the operator to mask so that we can change its color using this background over here let's just change the color for now we have this watermark over here if you want to get rid of it on this uh, russia node over here you can add in a rectangle mask and then you can just increase the width and the height so just make sure you crop the watermark and you are good to go then you can connect merge with the merge tool here this result in merge 4 let's take a look at it it's going to look something like that and on the merge 3 we can just go ahead and change the size and you know position it properly uh, with respect to our world map over here so let's just try and place this 
change the position and try and uh, put this in the right place all right that looks great now what you can do is uh, you can uh, instead of a using a background a solid color background you can use the uh, flag of russia as the background or as a texture so let's just remove this background node and i'm going to add in a flag of russia image which is also a png let's take a look at it this is how it's going to look i'm going to right click on it and click on rename i'm going to rename this to russia flag and i'm going to connect it up with this merge like that and uh, take a look at it this is how it's going to look now you can see that the position changed and that is because uh, our background node was 1920 by 1080 and this russia flag is uh, actually a different resolution that's why there is a change in the position so go back to your merge tree and you know try and put this back where it should belong it should be right over here yeah so we have the flag and after this russia flag you can also add in a transform node click on add and on this transform node we can scale it down um, so that we can have the entire uh, flag color in our scene over here so something like that all right cool so we are done with this part now we are going to add in ukraine png image and let's just take a look at it this is how it is going to look right click click on rename and i'm going to rename this to ukraine and we will add in a background note to this let's uh, view this it's going to look something like that i'm going to hit ctrl t to swap the inputs and let's just reduce the size and also i'm going to set the operator to mask and in the background node i'm going to change the color real quick like that so uh instead of a background we already know we are going to use uh the flag of ukraine so i'm going to remove this and use ukraine flag as the background for this and rename this to ukraine flag and connect it up with this merge like so and there you have it and uh, again it has the watermark over here uh, but you can go ahead and use the rectangle mask tool to remove it i'm going to connect it up with this merge all right so this will result in merge six take a look at it and now in the merge five we can go ahead and scale it down and try and position it properly like so all right just increase the size and you know just have to play around with the position and the size so it's kind of like puzzle pieces you find the right shape and slot it in and that should be it so i'm going to go back to my ukraine flag over here and we're going to add in a transform node to this as well because we lost uh, the texture over here so on this transform i can just move it up a little so that we get this uh, flag inside the ukraine png image all right cool so uh, we are done with that and now we can just move ahead with the animation and adding some extra effects so after the merge 6 we're going to add in a background node like so let's do this merge 7 and i'm going to right click and click on swap inputs and on background 2 i'm going to change the color and use uh, a different color so maybe something like that and i'm also going to go to my map over here let's just rename this it's not world map this is supposed to be our border all right go back to your world map and uh, we're going to go to its background node and change the color of that map so let's just uh, pick a different color so uh, let's use a lighter shade of that background color and click on ok all right so uh, now what we can do is after the merge over here we can add in um transform node and we can start animating on this transform node so let's just view this transform node i'm going to go to the very first frame and i'm going to increase the size and change the position or we can change the pivot so let's just move this over here and make sure that these two countries are visible and now we can create a keyframe on size make sure you are at the very first frame and I'm going to go to two second in time. So since this is a 30 FPS timeline, I'm going to go to frame 60, which is two second and set the size to one. And we can go to spline and select the transform node. Go to uh, select the size keyframe, click on zoom to fit, and then click on this icon that says select all. 
you can hit the s key on your keyboard and then hit the t key to get the ease in and ease out values just ease it into 100 and now you'll have a smoother animation all right cool so after this we are going to add in a gaussian blur and uh, just view this this is how it's going to look at the very first frame create a keyframe on strength and uh, i'm going to go to frame 40 and set the strength to zero take a look at it we have this smooth animation with that blur going on as well right now after the gaussian blur you can just end this up with a time speed node and you can set this to nearest and uh, make sure that the time speed comes in after the gaussian blur like that and let's just copy this time speed paste that in and on the second time speed we can set the speed to half or any other value that you prefer so we can set this to 0.5 and you can just finally connect it up with your media out which is right over here like that and you have a final animation now you can go ahead and create your flicker animation on the maps so let me just find the russia map over here and it has this merge tree so i can go to frame 30 and start a uh, animating the alpha gain for our flicker animation so i'm going to create a keyframe on alpha gain set this to zero at frame 30 move forward one frame set the alpha gain to some random value move forward and set it back to uh, zero move two frames forward and set it back to 100 so you'll have a flickering animation so i'm just going to view this transform for now so that we can see the animation and the playback is extremely slow and uh, i'm just going to disable these three nodes uh, so that i can have a smoother playback and also disable high quality and motion blur All right so let's take a look at it now all right so we have that flickering animation and we have to do the same thing with the ukraine as well so let's go to merge 5 and i'm going to start animating it at frame 50 or let's do 45 uh, let's create a keyframe on alpha gain set this to zero move forward by one frame set it to a random value move forward one frame or two frames set it back to zero or some other value let's move forward one frame and set it back to some random value move forward one frame and set it back to 100 so again we have a flicker animation on this okay and there you go now you can go ahead and enable all these three nodes these are some extra effects that are optional then you can go back to edit page and you have your animation ready over here so that is pretty much it that's how you can create a map animation inside of davinci resolve i hope this video is helpful i hope you learned something new if you did then please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.